New tonight, Pitt County students and staff will be wearing masks in the classroom for this upcoming semester. The decision comes just two days before the semester starts because of rising COVID-19 numbers in the county. Now, in your signs, Aaron Jenkins was at that Pitt County Board of Education meeting tonight. And Aaron, why was this decision made? Courtney Pitt County Health Director Dr. John Silvernail was at the meeting and he spoke. He said he's concerned for students to go back to school without masks at this time. Right now, there is a 20% positivity rate for COVID in Pitt County, and some parents and school officials were worried about the number of kids quarantined if school was open without this precaution. At the board's December meeting, they voted to make masks optional for the spring semester starting in January, but the recent surge in COVID cases after the holidays made the school board rethink that decision. Dr. Silver now recommended the board reinstate the mask mandate until at least the end of January until the cases of Omicron variant decrease in the county. Ultimately, the board voted 6-2 to two to require masks for students and staff because of the medical advice that they've been receiving. Over the last several days, I've heard from at least eight healthcare providers saying we need to do this. It's imperfect. It doesn't, it, you know, nobody is saying it works perfectly. Nobody is saying that it's the end-all be-all. Some Pitt County parents also spoke out at the meeting about the negative impact of masks on their kids. The board will have to vote again on masks in February. Masks will now be required in school buildings, buses, and gyms. This will start tomorrow for the teacher workday and be required for students who start class on Wednesday. And Aaron, lots to talk about during this meeting. What else was talked about? Well, the board also met earlier in a special meeting. They discussed whether certain books will be allowed to be read by students in the district. Parent Taylor Keith put in a request for the books Forged by Fire, Darkness Before Dawn, and All American Boys to be evaluated as to why they're being read by Pitt County students at Aiden Middle School. Keith says his eighth grade child's class read Darkness Before Dawn, a book about a father raping his daughter without any parent consent. Pitt County Schools media specialist Meredith Hill gave a presentation as to what criteria the books met after an evaluation from the school and the district. She says they choose a variety of books that reflect the circumstances of all of their children. But Keith said it should be a parent's choice. You know, I keep hearing I've got the right to censor my kid, but not everybody else's. And my response to that is they have the right to put it in front of their child whatever they want, but they don't have the right to put that in front of mine. Keith proposed the board adopt an opt-in program where parents and students can decide whether they want to read certain books in class. The board voted to postpone the discussion and, the, and on the books and vote on the next steps in their workshop meeting on Monday, January 17th. Stay with WNCT for more details on this developing story in the upcoming weeks. In studio, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side. Aaron, lots of th information. Thanks.